All right, I didn't even have the camera on yet, and Brooks already got one. Pretty decent one, too. Nice crappie. Well, my battery went dead in the middle of talking about that last fish, but I'm still rigging up my pole, and Brooke already caught one. Pretty decent crappie, too. Right on the bank. It's starting to warm up around here, and I think we're hopefully done with the cold snaps for the year. So these crappie ought to be moving up pretty shallow and getting ready to spawn. We're just going to keep uh, fishing for them and hopefully we can catch a few. Have us a nice little fish fry. Brooks throwing a white uh, beetle spin of 1 32nd ounce and I'm throwing a yellow. The water is really muddy. So I'm thinking that'll, that'll do pretty good in this muddy water. It rained I think yesterday or day before yesterday so it's got the water really really muddy, a lot muddier than normal. Let's go sit back in this pocket. Hopefully we can get out of the wind and maybe just sit up here and might be a good spot. I'm just gonna drive us up in this uh, grass and we can sit here and fish this pocket. Had any thumps yet? Good one? Oh, that's a brim. That's a pretty nice brim. Yeah, that's a good brim. You could uh, you can throw him in that bucket. I'll I'll fillet him if you want to. He's just big enough to fillet. All right, Brooks up on me too. Oh, I hadn't uh, had a bite yet. Might be that white color is what what I need to throw. Oh, there's one. Nice little crappie. He swallowed that thing, just about. Pretty good eating size right there. Get a few of them and we'll have us a good little fish fry. Yeah, I was just reeling and I'm like, I don't know, it just stopped. Like, I'm like, why did it stop? But, he hit it hard enough, he uh, knocked the slack out of him. He almost jumped out of that bucket, too. Got my hand all slimy. There we go. That's a bass. No, no, it's a crappie. Thought he was a bass. He's smaller than the other two, but uh, he's, he's big enough to eat. Hope I'm not getting you wet. Ooh, that's a good thump. Is that a bass? No? Nice crappie. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Real nice one. That's uh. I think three for me and two for you. Let me uh, see if I can get this boat back up here. I need uh, I need to replace that line. I'll trade with you. Yeah, um, I may have some more line with me and I may just go ahead and reline that, I don't know. <laughs> if I can manage it, I may just keep fishing because they seem to be biting pretty good. Oh God, I'm done. <laughs> I just probably knotted it up pretty bad. Yeah, I need some new line on this one. It's just not, uh... oh man. Yeah, this line's been on here so long. I Somebody gave this to me. No telling how long the line's been on there and I never changed it, so it's just awful. Okay, I'm... I gotta see if I can find some more line. This ain't working. I may do okay if I don't try to throw it too far, but I got a big knot in it. If I throw it too far, it's gonna probably knot up. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to you gotta cut this knot out. Cause it won't let me throw. Maybe it'll throw better now since I took some of that line off. I'm gonna get this mess sorted out before we go fishing again. Like I I had uh like I, I don't know what happened to my eight pound line, I can't find it. Like I had some braid and I had some mono that's missing. It's cheap though, I can buy some more. And then uh relining these will help like tremendously. Oh that's a good one. Well, not as good as I thought, but he ain't bad. Look at how much he swallowed this thing. You can't even see it. Now look at how much he inhaled this thing. It is like deep in there. I have to get my pliers for this one. All right, let's see if I can hit the bucket. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed. Can you get him, Brooke? Or I'll get him. He's over here. 